Hi, welcome to the TurntableNeedles.com studios. Today we're inside the light box talking about the really common uh, Magnavox cartridge that was in well over a thousand models in the 60s and 70s, namely Magnavox consoles. If you have one of these, this is one of our most popular needles that we need to uh, get replaced for customers. And the most common question we get is how do you replace the needle? So basically, if you do have the cartridge out, um, then it's often best to rotate the needle about halfway or 90 degrees from its home position and you want to grab it towards the base and you're going to put it, pull it forward and slightly down at the same time. That's to get it out from underneath this retainer clip and then you want to just hook it right back in in the same manner. Okay, again, so forward and slightly down at the same time. When you hear that nice click, then you know that you've done it right. That's the sound you're looking for. Now we have the mirror here today because oftentimes uh, a tone arm only lifts up a few inches. And so this can be done uh, by looking at a hand mirror that you place underneath your tone arm as well by getting it hooked up underneath there by looking at the mirror. All right, so there you go. That's how you replace it. When you got 78 up towards the ceiling, that's for playing the really old 78 RPM records. It's 10 inch records usually from like World War I. When you have it flipped over on this side, it's going to say LP. That's for the more common 33s and 45s. Thanks. Have a great day.